All right, all right, all right. Welcome to the next video, folks. So we're launching into Unit 7 here. This should be uh, your 7A notes on Byzantium, um, also known as the Byzantine Empire. So today we're talking about the role of Constantinople specifically um, in this video. But first, I just want to congratulate all Washington fans on the uh, the victory over the Packers. At, oh, oh, that says 1983. Oh, I, I thought it said uh, 2016. Oh, wait, the the Redskins lost yesterday? Oh, I just wanted to make sure. I, uh, I wasn't quite sure there what happened, but... Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Uh, make sure you congratulate Mr. Nolan on the uh, the good season for the Redskins, though. 9-7, and seven, not a bad year. But, moving on. We're talking about the Byzantine Empire. Okay, so as the Roman Empire declines, the Emperor Constantine moves the capital, okay, from Rome to Constantinople, which is in the east, okay, and eventually Constantinople kind of remains powerful and it remains the center of the Eastern Roman Empire, okay, also known as the Byzantine Empire, okay, so when we think about the Byzantines, we have to think about the preservation of kind of Roman culture and Roman knowledge, which we're going to get to later. So, as we know, the, the western part of that Roman Empire falls, um, it gets invaded by different tribes and barbarians. Um, we're not going to go into too much detail on that, but just know that it kind of happens. And then for a long period afterwards, that western part of Europe, that western part of the Roman Empire, kind of is almost like in a dark age after the Roman Empire collapses. So in the east, a new culture emerges that blends Greek and Roman kind of ideals, and this becomes the new Rome. So when we think about the Byzantines, Again, we got to think of this blending of Greek and Roman culture. Okay, so why did they pick Constantinople as their capital? Okay, first of all, during the later part of the Roman Empire, kind of that eastern frontier, that eastern part that's close to Persia, um, was kind of susceptible to invasion. So they wanted to move the capital to a place where they could kind of defend that area more easily. So we'll get, we're going to show you a map in a second, but that's one of the reasons why they moved it. Okay, another reason was they wanted to get away from those tribes and barbarian tribes um, that we were talking about earlier in the West. So they kind of wanted to move away from those folks, and they were able to do that by moving the capital of Constantinople. Okay. Another factor here is that Constantinople was on a peninsula. Okay, so if you don't know what a peninsula is, okay, that means surrounded by water on three sides. Okay, so Constantinople, and we're going to look at it in a second, is surrounded by water on three sides. All right, so that is what a peninsula means right there. So here's the example of kind of peninsula. Here's the city of Constantinople. Okay, this would be Greece right over here. Okay, we're going to call this Greece. Okay, this would be like Asia Minor, Asia Minor, I'm sorry, Persia, kind of the Middle East. This would be the Tigris and Euphrates River over here. Okay, so we see that we have side one here, side two here, and then side three. So that is three sides surrounded by water which means Constantinople can be kind of um, relatively easy to defend. Okay, It's difficult to cross water, kind of particularly in ancient warfare, so made it easy to defend. All right, so Constantinople was instrumental to the success of the Byzantines, and it's going to remain that Byzantine capital for years and years and years until it ends up getting conquered by the Turks um, in the 1400s. So long, long time uh, Constantinople and the Byzantines kind of survived. And the key here is that they preserved Greek and Roman culture. Okay, so if you take nothing else away from this video, okay, remember this. They preserved that Greek and Roman culture. They did it through artwork. They did it in libraries. They did it through public buildings. They did it through just kind of scholars and knowledge. But the key role is that they preserved Greek and Roman knowledge. It means they kept it alive. Okay. So last part of the note sheet. Um, just make sure you can label Constantinople on a map, okay? So here's Constantinople right here. It's kind of the bridge between, like, Europe over here and then Asia over here. So, like, Persia, Asia Minor, okay, the Middle East, 
and Europe, and that's why it's such an important city. It's the bridge between those two areas. So basically, when we talk about trade, okay, we say Constantinople has access to the Mediterranean Sea and all the trade that that kind of entails, and they also have access to the Silk Road, okay, which leads into Asia. And of course, they can go into Europe as well. So key, 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 key area. All right, so that's the seven A notes. Go ahead and flip to seven B. You're going to do seven B now.